The final video in this unit, and again, another short unit, which is nice, is we want to take a look at inserting and formatting objects. So here we have a, another worksheet, and this one we're taking a look at the top 10 horror movies. By the way, this is accurate and when I created it. So these are the top 10 horror movies of all time, which is kind of, kind of cool trivia for you if you're a trivia person out there. And we want to take a look and we want to add some different stuff to this to kind of spice it up, jazz it up a little bit. The first thing I want to do is add a text box. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to go over here to text and one says text box. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click and drag. You can see how it's forming a square. Let go, and I can write anything I want in here. So it's horror movies, so we'll type in boo. And once I'm in there, I can format it just like regular text. I can make it bold. I can make it larger. Make it red, because, you know, horror. I can do other things to it as well. Let's go to format. I can give it different, uh, different looks here. We'll go with, there we go. We'll center it and center it. And so now, see, I've got a text box. And with the text box, I can grab it and move it. So there's a text box for you. Fairly simple, easy to do. Once again, you go to insert. To the far right, you have text box. You click on it, you drag, and you make your text box. The next thing I want to do is insert a shape. So we're still in the insert tab. We're still under the insert tab. And over here is illustrations. Here I have shapes. I'm going to click the drop down and I have a whole bunch of different shapes that I can use. I am going to pick, oh, let's say a smiley face. We'll do a smiley face. Cursor's changed. I'm going to click, hold and drag and I am making a shape. So here is my smiley face. I can apply different formatting to it automatically right there. See, we'll make this one, oh, we'll make them blue. Click and drag, we can drag them everywhere, so that's me inserting a shape. And before I continue, let me show you something else you need to do. Whenever you put images in pretty much anything now, it's always a good idea to add alt text. And alt text is there for people who have visual impairments. What they might have is they might have something called a screen reader. And what that does is it reads the screen. So if, if you had a screen reader, you would hear, you know, top 10 horror movies, name, gross, year released, it, and then you would, you would hear it. When it gets to a picture, it kind of stumps the screen readers. And so you need to add something called alt text, which is what the screen reader is going to read out loud. So you right click on your image, you go down to edit alt text, you click on that, and you get this little pop-up box. And we can type in a description of that particular art or shape or what have you. Now, if it's purely for decoration, you can also check this box, which just says, hey, look, this is just decoration. It's not important to anything, and you can click that. So there's the face. I click off of it, and it's, it saves it. It automatically saves it. That is inserting a shape. The next thing I want to do is insert a picture. So I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to go to Pictures. You also have the option, by the way, of doing online pictures. The danger of online pictures is that you might infringe on copyright. You have to have a network connection, first of all, because this is going to use Bing to do a, you know, like a Google image search, except it's using Bing. And you can find pictures online. Again, be careful because you might be violating copyright. If you use someone's image without proper permission, you can get in trouble. So let's import an image that I already have. I'm going to click on pictures. I'm using a picture from here, so it automatically opens up. If I couldn't find it, I could go through my drive and look for it. So I want this picture in there because we're talking about horror movies, so I might as well use a scary house. I'm gonna click insert, and there's our image. Let me resize this image a little bit, make it smaller. There we go. And now I have an image. Again, alt text, let me close it out so we can show you how to get there again. Right click on the image, do edit alt text, and I'll type in here, haunted house. Let me click off, and now that's saved as the alt text. And again, that really is that simple. To insert images, to insert pictures, to insert uh, text boxes, 
you go to insert your text is over here your arts over here and you're good to go okay guys this was a fairly quick unit we learned about charts we learned about inserting art you are really super close to the finish line you only have two units left from here and they really aren't that much more difficult or longer than unit six or unit seven so you're almost done thank you for hanging in there with me do the hands-on get practice with these that's how you learn them and if you haven't scheduled that microsoft office certification exam highly 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 recommend you start looking at it i would say maybe three weeks from now or four weeks from now is when you should schedule your exam until later have fun studying out there and goodbye for now